Okay guys, I'm gonna demonstrate how to add buttons to a placket. Um, this is a tad bit more intermediate than when we just applied one button to a flat pocket. It's a little bit different. Um, we you know, want our buttons spaced out. And then another tricky thing is that in order for this to work, we really have to put one layer of fabric on top of the other. I'm talking about the placket. So like where's right placket needs to be on top of where's left placket. And then we could put the buttons on the left side. So it, the fabric needs to be lined up and clearly it's not right now. So um, we need to do that. And we can sew it together to hold it in place while we add the buttons. And then we could take away the stitching when we're done. Um, the only thing is though, if you guys are kind of new to Clo, it's like, I don't know, it's a little tricky to sew it together. Um, I'll show you what happens if I just sew it right away. So, you know, I want where's right, left, well, right placket to be on top of where's left. So I would sew the edge of the placket to the edge of the like seam of the other one. And, and then automatically these pattern pieces are symmetrically linked. So it added stitching to the reverse side as well. Okay, let's simulate. And then I don't know if this is happening to your computer or not, but mine doesn't really know who's supposed to be on top or not. So it's kind of fighting. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, we're on top for this one. So like at the top, it's kind of working, but then in the middle, where's left is on top instead of where's right. And it's just getting all twisted and funky. Ah. So I'm just, I mean, maybe if I'm patient and I just wait it out, it might work. Maybe that's what's happening on your computers, but if you're like me and having trouble, um, I'll show you another way. So I'm gonna say Command Z to edit undo. Okay, and then I'm actually gonna get rid of my stitching as well. I'm just gonna hit delete. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna switch to like my edit tool, my little selection tool here, and um, I am gonna simulate. And then I'm gonna click on where's right, the top collar. Okay, so I think I got it. And then I'm gonna hit six. And then I'm gonna just bring it out over here to the left a little. And it'd be really nice if the rest of the sweater would follow it slowly but surely. It's like thinking about it. Come on, buddy. Maybe I can get a little bit more crazy. I'm like stretching out my fabric. Come on, bud. The bottom is like stuck. <laughs> it's like, no, I don't wanna go out. Okay, here it goes, it's coming, it's coming, yay. Okay, now I'm gonna hit number two. And then I'm gonna bring it over. Okay, that's a little bit extreme. And you know what, I'm just gonna hit spacebar. So that means I stop simulation. Okay, ah. I think the top's gonna work, but not the bottom. And you know, I did this earlier and I got it, the whole thing to go over. Maybe I just lucked out, I don't know what I did wrong, but I think it's good if it doesn't totally work so I can show you something else as well. Okay, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and try sewing it together. So I'm gonna pick this guy and I wanna sew you here and then it's automatically gonna mirror it. And then I'm gonna hit spacebar and let's see what happens. the show begin. Okay, so it's gonna work for the top, but it looks like I'm still having some issues on the bottom. Um, I would like to zoom in and kind of check that out. Okay, I'm gonna pan up a bit. Yeah, so for some reason, it, the layering is still kind of an issue here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit the spacebar to stop simulating. Um, then my selection tool, I'm just gonna click like right here so I kind of know where. I'm gonna stop the stitching to like where that blue point is, roughly. And um, so it's like uh, one, two boxes below that line. So now I'm gonna hit the edit sewing tool and I'm just gonna unstitch it. You know, that's definitely enough. And then I have to go to the other side. Oh, it's asking me which one. I wanna do the red one, not the purple. So I'm gonna bring that guy. So it's not stitched together anymore. And then I'm gonna go ahead and simulate and let's see how it naturally falls now that it's not being forced to be sewn together. And maybe I can do that trick again where I um, grabbed this piece, right? Come here, little guy. I'm trying to grab you. Oops, I grabbed the short. I don't want that. I want you. You have to talk to it to make it work. 
Okay, hit number six. I'm gonna bring it out. Oh no, I grab, do I have a shorts? No, I don't, good. I'm gonna hit number two and I'm gonna bring it across and over and spacebar. Okay, cool. So now I'm gonna go back to my edit sewing tool. I'm gonna bring that stitching line all the way back down because I think it's ready. I think that it's layered the right way. Ooh, which one? Mm, wait, why do they both look purple to me? Oh, it's the, duh, because I was looking down below up here. It's the red one. The red one needs to be longer. Okay. Cool. There we are. And we are ready to simulate. I just want to make sure it's all good. I kind of twisted the sweater I just noticed. I guess I could pull it and try to twist it back or just be patient. Maybe it would go. I don't know. Okay, it's just, I just need to stop. Okay, let's zoom in. Give it a look. Oops. Sometimes when I pan, I hit space bar because that's how you pan in Illustrator. I don't know if that happens to anybody else. Um, okay, now if you want it stiffer, there's a couple things as well. Um, maybe I right click and I strengthen it and then simulate. Maybe this will help it kind of lay a little bit better. Um, or I can right click and unstrengthen it. And it actually is recommended to add some bonding. This is like if you add fusing to it, which you would on a button placket anyways. So maybe we should just bond this piece um, just to kind of give it a little bit more stiffness to it. Okay. So we're gonna do that. And then I think I'm just gonna simulate again. I'll hit number two. I'm just kind of let it see what it's going to do. I'm going to pull you a little. Okay. Just to kind of straighten it out. Okay. Time to move on. I think we're okay. <laughs> All right. It is button time. Okay. So that was a lot of work, right? Getting the pieces sewn together. So again, if you're kind of new to Chloe, this is a good practice to do that. Um, but now we are ready for our button tool. Um, we worked really hard to make sure the wearer's left placket is on the bottom layer. So that's where our buttons would go. And then our button holes will go on the other side. So you just wanna get your button tool, click where you want it. I'm just gonna click one time. Um, we have the default button, you can click that guy. And then there's lots of different choices in the property editor. Let's see here. So let's see here, the shape, if you click the drop down menu, um, there's lots of different artworks that you can choose from. Um, I did see some other videos if you wanted to make your own, that's kind of neat too. Um, I'm just gonna leave this guy. You can change the size of it, um, the thickness, how much it weighs. Let's see here, what else can we do? You can change the color. Right now it's no color, so it's just like default to like this white, I guess. Um, okay, let's see. Yeah, fun stuff there. Um, right now, I guess the type is like fabric mat. Maybe you want it to be like plastic or metal. Whatever you guys want. You can be a little button designer there. Okay, so now we need to add a whole bunch more. And yeah, I could just click it manually, but then they're like might not be even and it might be space kind of weird. So the trick to getting more buttons is to use the edit tool and select the first one. And then you're just gonna right click and you're gonna copy it, or you can hit you know Command C. And then you're gonna paste it. So I'll hit Command V this time. I could have right clicked and pasted. And then now, even though I said paste, it didn't really paste it. It's just kind of letting me decide where I wanna paste it. So that's kind of nice. Um, so this is a good time to hold Shift because I do want them lined up perfectly. And then it's telling you how far away it is. Right now it's like five inches, you know, so you can kind of decide, like maybe I want three and a half, but I'm at 3.49, so that's kind of annoying. So right click. And if you right click, this menu pops up 
And then here I can type in 3.5 if that's what I really wanted. Um, you can type in whatever you want. And then here you also get to type in how many. Yay, so you don't have to like keep um, uh, right clicking, right? You can just do this once. Maybe I'll actually make it a little bit more. No, let's go back down. Why don't I type in 3.75? I kind of want the bottom one lower. That's what I'm trying to do here. Whoops. Oh my gosh. 3.75. Cool. That looks good. I'm going to say OK. All right, great. So now we need buttonholes. And if you've done this with me before, when we made our first one, to get a buttonhole, we just held down the button tool and we use the buttonhole tool. But because we're working on a pattern that's linked symmetrically and we have a whole bunch of buttonholes, we don't have to do that. Instead, we can select all the buttons. So I'm just gonna hold shift and grab this top one. And then you just have to right click, right? When in doubt, there's always cool things if you right click. Um, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna duplicate as buttonhole. Yeah, we are, to symmetric pattern, perfect. I love that. So all you have to do is just click that, you're done. But we're not done because I actually want the buttonholes going up and down. So it defaulted horizontal. Um, so we're just gonna change the angle to be 90 degrees. Not that big of a deal. Pretty easy, I guess. We have some buttonhole choices as well. Uh, maybe we don't, looks like I only have one. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. You can probably like import more if you want. I don't know, right now, this is fine. Okay, so we got the button, we got the buttonhole, but they are not fastened, right? So if you zoom in, we got buttonholes. Oh, this bottom one looks like it's fastened. No, that's weird. Lucky, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> um, but we do need to fasten them. So we have the fasten tool. You should click and drag over. You can do one at a time if you want, but I'd rather just do all of them at the same time. And then um, make sure your buttonhole turns blue. So just the top one's turning blue and I click one time, and it's automatically gonna button all of them, which is kinda neat. Um, okay, so let, let's see here. Let's go ahead and simulate, see what happens. Okay, so for a more realistic effect, we do need to get rid of our stitching. Remember how we stitched it closed? You can't actually wear that, right? How would you get it on and off? So we have to remove our stitching. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop simulation and I'm gonna grab my edit sewing tool. We're gonna find that stitch line and we're just gonna hit delete. Okay, cool. And then now we will simulate again. <laughs> it's like, ah. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can pan down a little bit. Maybe I can zoom in. Okay, cool. So let's say we want the top one unbuttoned. So we can do that with our little fastener tool here. And I think you just click it one time or maybe you right click it. Let me see, oh, maybe you have to do it over here on the 3D. I did it on the 2D before. Okay, yeah. no, it worked. It worked on the 2D, just my computer is tired today and it's taking its sweet time. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and simulate again. I wanna see if that top one actually does become unbuttoned and what happens if it does. Okay. Um, kinda looks like it's still buttoned. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. No, I see it. Okay, I need to zoom in. Uh, why did I do that? Okay. There you go. Come over here, guy. Get over here. Get over here. There we go. See, you're not buttoned. So anyways, if I wanted to like play around and like open up the collar, I guess that's something like I could do, you know. Yeah, so there you go. That is our multi-button intermediate tutorial. Let me know if you guys have questions, okay?